In this AnyChat review, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about AnyChat. AnyChat is a tool that allows widgets to display on every page of your website and provide as many contact methods as you want. So once you sign into the software, you're taken to this main dashboard page. Now, what's very interesting because you're essentially creating a help widget for your different websites. So the help widgets you can explore in different software that help you ask any questions in a attune to customer service, you are essentially trying to create through here. Now, first you go to quick setup. We've already set up a website and, a, and an AnyChat widget, but it's useful to show the process in creating all those steps. So we first entered a website that we're going to pretend we own. Again, this is Mashable.com. So this ideally is the website we want this widget to appear on. So we click this, continue, and you can decide the integration type you're going to have with your website. So you can have a menu button widget. So, you know, a Telegram support, WhatsApp support, Facebook, callback request, chat to us, even just that we are online button. And you can see it's a little bit of an animated video as well when you hover over this chat with us online and that's quite useful it shows you what exactly it will look like or you can choose the standalone live chat widget as well where it's not complex you don't need the entire menu buttons you just have a single one there so you decide whichever is best for you we'll just click menu button because it's nicer and you know it's more detailed and then we created a menu item as well so we sort our icon which is a discord icon we put our title our type, which is our link, so the link is to, uh, is to the site, and the display as well, seeing how the different displays will work on each desktop. So it will be here, we have the title, the subtitle, the icon type, the color, the, the brand color, the online badge too. So, you can include the icon to slider or not, and you have your action as well, your custom link, and you put the link there, the JS code, and the visibility as well on desktop and mobile, or if you just want it to be on one of them only. Again, you can go back to this and edit the stuff I've done here, the color red, the Discord logo, brand color, the slider. Again, all the things we showed, but just, you know, displaying that, you know, we can actually work with it. And so you continue. And then you have the widget code as well. You can download multiple integration modules as well if you want to, but we won't do that right here. We just have a, a API and widget ID already made for us, but you can get a WordPress plugin and you can see press the shop modules, Shopify integration, if you want to. You have the Wix integration, Joomla, Magento. Again, these are all things you can utilize to get through to your integration and help you get your widgets to your websites if you wanted to as well. So you finish. So you finish and we're back to that dashboard page itself. Now, what we're going to do, we can see inbox. You look at the inbox, there's nothing here, but that'll be the inbox for your widgets when people interact with it and contact customer service for you. Then, got your live chat as well. Again, the live chat will be empty. There are no current live chats tr uh, trending, but they'll be here once, once they are. If people are talking to you, if you're in the middle of a communication with different people, with different widgets, then that'll be available to use. Then... You go down to settings and you've got integrations and configurations. So integration is configuration. But we're just going to general configuration first. So again, you can enable this on mobile if you want or put it in a sandbox mode if you require that. Then again, you've got all these features that allow you to edit. You know, you can include your Google Analytics account if you wanted to. Again, you have all these features here. And a custom font if you want to as well with a CSS code you can utilize to edit all the features of your general widget. So again, you know, sandbox mode put right here, IPs that'll be allowed on it. And you can enable widgets on pages or disable them on several pages as well. So you choose and type which widgets are going to be available or which should be unavailable or essentially disabled in this sense. That's a button. The actual buttons, well, this one's quite a fun feature. You know, the button mode, menu. Remember, because we put the menu, the menu feature. Then you've got a view and SVG that we decided. 
Then you got the theme as well, the green, you know, this could be it right there. If you're in this example, contact us right there. It's animated. We can mess up the size if we want to, large, medium, small. We like a large. Mess up the icon size, maybe make it 26. Position, right, parent animation, x-axis offset, y-axis offset, pulsate, speed, icon slider, etc. The icon text, contact us if you want it to be that. And the button title as well, you can, you can type that in. Again, description and the label too. You go on menu settings. Right here. So you can sign the desktop and the mobile view as well if you want to. So you got either normal or large, small. The default or start one. The menu width. The layout, the pump of style, the fade in, the items, icon style, the animation as well, down to up or up to down. If you decided you wanted to edit the way the animation was going to look. Then we've got the border as well that you can mess with. Even the header and all the different colors. The mini background color, the item title color and the subtitle color and the hover item background as well. If you wanted to edit all those things. And you can decide it on the mobile version too, and just edit them differently, essentially. And then you got integration settings as well. Again, enable Twilio integration, Telegram, OneSignal, Google Recapture. Again, these are the integrations we saw that you can download previously in the other button. Then you got forms as well. You can create some forms for your widgets. You got the phone number, name, GDPR rules. And you can submit the form if you want to so this is the form you get the customers to fill in if they want to contact you and so you can find out how to reach them back and you can add all the information they can give us all if it's phone number or their name so this field settings can be changed and you have your emails on the message so write an email to us you let them send their email and write their message as well and you can submit that form right there naturally your email settings as well so, you know, again, just external mail servers you can test with and you can send through and an email template you can use so you don't have to constantly keep typing the same kind of email. Then you've got prompt messages as well, prompt settings. You can edit these if you want to, how they appear, the typing time, the message time. Again, just, you know, once people send a problem, you have prompt messages just coming up to respond to them instantly without maybe a real person having to be there at first then your live chats as well your live chat features you have right here which is pretty standard and your live chat widget as well you can edit so the online mode or the offline mode as well so quite useful features you have right here this is our <laughs> our, our main chat right here again this is all legitimate it's not real of course you don't know mashable we can't link the discord live chat to mashable of course we cannot but the the features right there for us and there's the menu items again, just if you wanted to go back on that, that we set up. And you have your widgets, like we have right here, again, with Mashable.com. And the apps and plugins we saw previously. And request a feature and request documentation as well, if you wanted to. Which you have to utilize APIs and all these different keys. So any chat, again, you have the guide right here that tells you what to do. Documentation, if you need any help, if you need to know everything works, it's right there for you. Any chat is a useful software to have at hand for creating widgets. It's quite detailed and it gives you a lot of options to curtail and customize your widgets, especially with the live feature and the offline feature as well. So I think it's quite useful because it almost does everything for you and just leaves you to customize the appearance of the feature. So I can recommend it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll provide a discounted link. Thank you for your time.